Welcome back fellow coders, my name is Fernando. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through my setup on VS Code for PyLogix and how you can kind of switch back and forth between different versions of PyLogix if you wanna test uh, stuff. Uh, and I'm also gonna show you how I have a little testing folder here that you can also set up and it's gonna be ignored by GitIgnore because that's how we have it set up. Um, yeah, so we'll go through this list one by one uh, the first thing, the setting up the project for testing PyLogix uh, is pretty simple. And we actually have a document to that guides you through the process, uh, which is down here. Now, I believe this should be almost identical for Studio 5000. Uh, but if you have any problems, uh, let us know and we'll try to update this documentation. But basically you are importing importing a few data types and and the tags. Um, and all those things are inside this folder. Um, obviously then you have to set up your IO and depending on your, then that's just whatever IO you have uh, on your project. On my case, in my case, I, I don't have anything. It's just a uh, soft logic PLC uh, inside my VM. And so I only have the, the, the soft logic PLC here. And then I have a ethernet module. Um, so you just have to set up your IP and you should be good to go on the project. And this is what PodLogix looks like. So that's my PLC setup. Um, but once you follow this document, it tells you pretty much what you need to do here for the project. Um, the other thing that you have to do before you run the test unit, um, is that you need a PLC configuration. Uh, this is ignored by get ignore. So you can set it there, the path. I want to say it's in the root. Okay, inside the test folder, you can create this this configuration, uh, and you don't have to worry about committing to the to the repository. Um, and here I have a few variables here. Uh, I put this one so you can see it, but if you have a micro, you have to set this to true. And PLC slot and IP, obviously. So that's setting up the project and the PLC configuration as well. Now, the other thing that I recommend you doing is setting up a folder inside the PolyLogix module, which I don't know why this is showing red for a, a couple of things. I think it's just the, 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 the absolute import is causing a link there. But anyways, inside the module, you create a testing folder and inside that testing folder, you can pretty much do whatever you want uh, as far as testing. And then you don't have to worry about uh, Git in the end or anything because it's ignore. So in my case, I have uh, a bunch of, a uh, few tests that I was on today. And yeah, I don't know why it's, I mean, this script runs fine. So I don't know why it's saying it can't find it. But well, basically what we're doing here is importing PyLogix locally, which comes from here, this, this folder. So once you have your PLC project running, connected to a PLC, you have your configuration set, uh, you can run talks test. Uh, this is just for like one-off testing or whatever, if you just wanna play around. So to run talks, you just run talks and you have to have it installed by the way, just pip install talks. Pip install talks like that and then to run it, Just gonna run, uh, and right now I have Python 3.4. Uh, 
on OpiPi, I have Python 2.7 and 3.7 installed in my machine. And the reason why they're all failing, well, these two are failing because I don't have 3.4 or 5. Uh, these ones are failing because I think we have a bug uh, in our latest code. Now you can see it right here. Now, let's say that I want to see what happened in the previous version. So I can easily do that by going here into this. And this is going to pull all our branches and also ta version tags in the repository. So obviously here I have the origin is my fork and the upstream is the the original for the original repository. So let's switch back to 7.5 and run talks again. And now we see that the commands have succeeded. Uh, so obviously, if you want to test against 3.4 and 3.5, then you have to install those Python versions and Tox will find them for you. But in our case, we always test against 2.7, which is the latest major version for uh, version Python 2 and 3.7 for Python. Um, the other thing you can also do is the test. And the test, I will leave, you go to, you have to have the, the Python extension install, which is this one. Then you configure the test and your test is unit test. My pick your folder and then I pick this one, which is this one right here. Once you do that, then VS Code is gonna automatic when you go to this this tab, it's gonna show you all the tests. And if we run them all here, you should also see everything green. Uh, for some reason, these two always kind of don't run for some reason. Uh, you have to figure out why. And also, this one is kind of failing. I uh, need to figure out why. But this Boolean test is basically reading 128 Booleans from this array. And... If we run that, then you can see here that it works fine. But I'm not sure what's going on with this unit test. I think I need to figure that out, but if I switch back to another version, let's say we go back to master. And we run this. We'll see that it's failing on all the tags but four. So that is a, a bug we recently got told by a few people on the issues. And uh, there's a reason why I'm making this video. Um, but yeah, so every time you make a big change or you add a new feature, you want to make to make sure to test and that way you know that you're committing good code. Okay, for the run uh, and debug configurations, 
basically you come in here uh, and this is going to tell you you want to do a there's going to be a button here that says um, create a configuration and and when you click on it it's going to ask it's going to be simple this one it's not going to be like this uh, the only reason why I have it here is so I can run 2.7 and 3.7 uh, for but this comes from my talks environment but let's see if we can create a new one add configuration python python file yeah this is the default one and this one launches your current file so if you're on this file you can just go ahead and click that button where it says current file and it will run whatever version you have here and it will run this file I don't know if that's a little confusing but here I'll I'll, I'll show you so I'll, current file I want to run it and let's say I want to run it in 2.7 come down here and select it and then I click current file run it and now you can see that it ran in 2.7 let's say I want to run it in 3.7 and do the same thing And you can see here that it actually did 3.7 if you have virtual environments uh, once you activate a virtual environment it will also show here so Documents, environments. Okay, now it's activated. Um, I think I have to restart. Maybe that only shows when you open up. Okay, so that only shows when you open up a folder within the environment okay and switching versions I kind of already talked about it um, just go here in the, in the tags and pick whatever tag you want to work with And I believe I cover everything that I wanted to talk about in this video. So if you have any questions on how to contribute to PyLogix or any other questions that I missed on this video about VS Code or any other things, just let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.